Stereolithography apparatus, or SLA as it is commonly known, is the oldest of rapid prototyping processes, originating in 1986 when Charles Hull founded the 3D Systems Company in California. Here we have the Viper SI2 SLA system. It has a maximum build area in the shape of a cube with equal 250mm sides in standard quality, or 125mm long and wide by 250mm tall in high resolution. The process begins with the creation of a 3D CAD model. This can be done in a variety of programs including NX, SOLIDWORKS and many more. Once complete, the model is converted to an STL file and sent to the build station control software where support scaffolds are automatically added and the part is cut into a series of slices around three thousandths of a millimetre in thickness. The model is now ready to be printed. The build platform is lowered into a vat of photocurable epoxy acrylate liquid resin known as LV Grey, so that it rests 3 thousandths of a millimetre below the surface. An ultraviolet laser is directed onto the resin using a series of computer controlled mirrors. The laser causes the material to polymerise. The laser itself has 100 milliwatts of power available to it and has a beam diameter of just 0.075 millimetres, meaning that the solidification process is very accurate. The build platform then lowers a single layer thickness. The levelling blade sweeps across to ensure that the new level is re-coated with a layer of liquid resin. The laser then selectively solidifies the next layer. This process of re-coat and scan is repeated layer by layer until the model is complete and the platform then rises up and out of the resin to allow the unsolidified resin to drain away. Upon completion of the model, it must be removed from the machine and post-processing of the model must be performed. First, any excess liquid and support structure are removed. The part is cleaned using isopropyl alcohol to remove any uncured excess resin and it is then cleaned using air and water to remove the solvent. The part is then placed in an ultraviolet oven in order to cure and fully solidify the part. Finally, the model can be sanded down using an ultrafine sandpaper to produce a smooth surface finish. Stereolithography is commonly used for creating small to medium sized concept models or prototypes for aerodynamic testing in wind tunnels as well as parts with fine details such as those used in biomedical engineering.